Spring has sprung, the flowers are in bloom, and that means there's pollen in the air and allergies are afoot, so you should stay inside and play some board games. What's up, everybody? My name is Nick. I'm Mike. We are the Brothers Murph. Today, we're gonna talk about five great games for spring because we are inspired by our great friends, Jeff and Jamie. Jeff and Jamie from Foster the Meeple who uh, do seasonal lists of, of game recommendations yes. that kind of evoke the feeling of the season, yes. spring being the season we have just entered. But do they? Here's the thing. Jamie always curates these lists. Yes. And um, frankly, I think she does, she pulls some shenanigans. I feel like she doesn't take it seriously. She enough. doesn't take it seriously enough, okay? Because top game lists our serious, serious business, business yeah. okay? So real quick, before you watch this video, click in the pinned comment the video for the spring recommendations that Foster the Meeple has done. Go watch that video. Subscribe to them if you haven't already because they're some of our very favorite people. But you'll see in that list there's some choices that are a there's little bit silly. Yes. There's some shenanigans, some tomfoolery, And perhaps. then come back here for a real list. Yeah, and then come back here because we're going to give you six or five, just five today, actually great Springtime yes. recommendations. These games evoke the feeling of spring like no other. It's time to get serious with our list. You know what makes you yearn for the feeling of spring more than anything else? I do. The dead of winter. When you are in the dead of winter. That's what makes you really yearn for spring, which is why it's a spring game. Exactly. Because when you're because... in the dead of winter, you're like, oh gosh, I miss wildflowers. Exactly. You know, you know? and there's also zombies and stuff, yes. which uh, they thrive in the winter, they frankly. They do. But they can't stand seeing flowers and things, pollen. so they go away. The pollen just gums them right up, yeah. eats their brains right up. So this is a game that you can play once the, the grip of winter has finally left you. Yes. And you're in the wonderful spring, the ground is thawing out, and you want to remember the dark days. You play Dead of Winter. Indeed. Okay, Dead of Winter, every time I'm playing it, I'm like, oh, sunshine. That's right. Sunshine Feels good. It's, on it's, on it's beaming heart. down upon me. Spring must be near. Yeah. Spring must be near. But you can only get that feeling if you are in the dead of winter. That's right. You know what? Sometimes, Nick, sometimes when you're in the dead of winter, yeah. I think this winter can't end. That's why our next springtime game is Endless Winter. That's right. All right? Because what makes you yearn for spring? Like Endless Winter. An ice age. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Right? You think, you think those mammoths were like, be, I'd love a little sunshine. Yeah. I'd love just a tad. Because here's the thing about spring. Spring is about appreciation. Yes. Right? We appreciate the return to good weather before the mugginess of summer. Yes, if yes. you live in a Midwest state, which why would you live why there? Why would you do that? Uh, live in a place that's dry. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, spring is about appreciation. Uh, and, man, if I was in an endless winter. Yeah. And then I came into springtime. I'd appreciate the heck out of yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. So you have to have the endless winter yeah. to appreciate the you need spring the dark when it comes. To appreciate the light. Bob Ross was talking about that. You Absolutely. need the dark times to appreciate the light times in your life. And, and so smart. endless winter is the darkest time because winter is the worst. Yeah. But then you go into spring, it makes you appreciate the light. So you have to live through that endless winter. Yeah. And before you can go outside and appreciate the spring weather, you need to play endless winter to remember where we came from. That's right. Okay. So that is our next pick. Endless winter. Winter Makes or spring. Sense. Nick, we had talked about winter. We're going to let winter go. Yes, Because finally. we're talking about spring. You know what follows spring? What's that? The dog days of summer. That's right. That heat. This next game is Indian summer. That's okay? right. Okay? Indian summer. That kind of late summer where you think mm. summer is ending and the fall is coming and it gets hot again. Exactly. Boom. It makes you It makes you yearn for spring. Exactly. You know, because now it's nice and cool. I was like, man, I was sneezing and stuff back then and things were falling on the ground. I didn't appreciate the yeah. flowers. And now... It's yeah. all hot. Things are starting to die because you're going out off. of you're going out of summer into fall, and so you know the, the leaves are changing, which is very pretty, but it also brings death. So it makes you think like, oh, you know what I appreciate I when the things were living, life. when things were growing exactly. as they do in spring. And so when yeah. you're playing Indian summer, you're the whole time you're like, man, this makes me think and feel of spring. Exactly. And plus there's tile laying. It's Uwe Rosenberg yeah. goodness. Don't ask if we've played it. We haven't. It doesn't matter. You get it. You're putting stuff down. There's weird shapes. Spring has weird shapes because stems and stuff, sometimes they grow like this and stuff with light and You can never predict a plant. No, you can't. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? We don't. We understand less about plants than ever before. Indian summer is the next clear springtime pick. Yep. 
You know what makes me, when we start going into spring, you know what it really makes me think of, Mike? The uh, start of the most, I don't know if it's the best season, but it's no. certainly the most exciting. It's And that yeah. is fire season. Fire season in, in California, California. Specifically, because California is federally required to burn to the ground every year. It seems and that so way. And so the next game is going to be fire tower. Fire tower. Because spring is the beginning of the fire. Fire season, right? And so, literally, as soon as it stops raining, the fire fire begins. start. The fire comes, you know. Yeah. And so, um, it's just so in Fire Tower, you are weirdly trying to control make the, fire. the fire bigger. You're not you, trying to put it out. Which you is want a, it, a weird thing, but you want it to go toward your opponent's yeah. fire tower. You want to burn. It's them a alive. really fight fire with fire kind of game, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a perfect spring game because we all feel that way. You know, can has been burning down every spring. Amen. You know, it's just like climate change is out here. It's right? out whether here. or not you believe it, it's out here. It it's is gonna happen whether or not you agree with uh, it. Or yeah. Not. And so uh it is good to play games that remind us yes. of important things and maybe, like you being know, safe with fire. Maybe rake up those dry pine needles. Yeah, you know what? After the game, go give those things go, a go rake. rake it up, Protect you know? your structure. Chop down some dead trees, you know. Okay, yeah, go check on those trees. Have a fire them, break somewhere, you know. Put a fire break down and stuff. And That's what I think of when I think of spring. Absolutely, it can help train you yes. uh, to, to uh, not use fire that. breaks and things effectively. Yes. Okay, so fire tower is good because spring is a time for remembering. Mm -hmm. It's a time for appreciating, a time for remembering. And fire tower is just such a strange theme. It's, it's like the we weirdest want the theme. fire to burn other people. It seems very vengeful to me. You know what makes me think of spring more than anything else? I certainly do. The dead quiet of space. Absolutely. And the reason is, is because when you're in space, say you're playing something like Space Station Phoenix, which of course is our number one. Absolutely. When you're in the dead space, so there is no seasons. There's no, just radiation no damage from the sun. Oh my gosh. So the only season that matters and the only season that's internal is the season in your heart. Right here. And which one's in there, Mike? Okay, uh, Space Station Phoenix is the one in there. No, oh, no. Which season is in our heart? Oh, which season in there? Yeah. <laughs> it's springtime. It's spring, maybe. obviously. Yeah, uh, obviously. It's that's... always spring when you're in space because yeah. that's the one in your heart. Absolutely. You can, you're can. you springing forward uh, as a new humanity. Frontier. New frontiers. It's it's right. We're not talking about new frontiers, though. Again, the game no, is Space Station Phoenix. Like, you know, Star Wars, you know, not Star Trek, the final frontier. I should say yeah. final frontier. The final yeah. frontier is space. Not new frontier. New frontier makes no sense for spring. No. Uh, but you know what does... Space Station Phoenix, yes. okay? Because this is a game where you're building out a space station. You are literally growing a space station. You're bringing different people, aliens together. Because it's winter is finally over, so you can finally come outside and come you together can mingle. again. That's why it's spring. Exactly. All right. So this is important. Again, when you when you remove all atmosphere yeah. and ability to live outside, you have what's in your heart and brain. There are no rules, no restrictions anymore. So why can't it be spring all the time? I think it can yeah. if you're in space. So Space Station Phoenix is an eternal game. It's a it's a perennial game. You can play it all yes. year round, that's baby. Part. And that's why it has to be our clear number one springtime it's, pick. I don't know what else you'd pick. I don't want to hear in the comments. Yeah. Oh, but what about this game? What about that game? Nay, this well, was a definitive list. Yeah. In fact, we're going to give you one bonus yes, game. Yes, indeed. Because you know what this did? It sprung forward an entire genre. It did. We sprung forward in time, sprung forward an entire genre. And Nick, what's the opposite of spring? Uh, fall. It is fall. What's the most famous holiday in the fall? Halloween. That's right. So Halloween, the board game, Makes is the best springtime game you can play because you're you're statistically as far away from Halloween as possible. Yeah. And there's a lot of goth folks out there yeah, who are getting it. real into like only 14 more Fridays until, until like, oh, Friday the 13th. Oh, it's March 14th. I guess we should start getting ready for Halloween. I, we know several that people. That sounds like a goth I know. That get into that. And so we want to celebrate that by playing Halloween and having Mike Myers dressing up in all sorts of different characterizations. Awesome going powers. Going through, stabbing people yeah. and whatnot. So that's just a bonus one for you to just consider. Just for Again, you we love to, you so much. You need to open up your mind. Yes. When considering what games fit what categories. And mm -hmm. that's something that we really wish Foster the Meeple would do. Had done more earnestly. Yes. Yeah, really though. give it a think about your list. Now again... Just, oh, ha ha, it's funny, funny stuff. Oh, oh, you oh, know, this is a funny list. We have, a list I do. there's an imperative for us yes. to be uh, realistic, it, you know, uh, integrity driven journalists. Yes. yes. Frankly. That's and so go watch us. Foster the Meeple. Go watch their springtime list. Let them know if you think our list was better yep. or if their list was better for springtime games. Give recommendations for your springtime games, whatever they may be, in the comments mm -hmm. below. Make sure you subscribe to Foster the Meeple while you're over there. Uh, and tell them that the Brothers Murph said hello. Indeed. Okay. All right. That's it. We'll see you next season. 
Listen here, you butts. This was just a fun little silly thing we did because we love Jeff and Jamie so much and all their picks. We really cannot recommend them highly enough. Uh, make sure you listen to your spring games. Check out Garfield Games, Board Game Geek, and Restoration Games, all three channel sponsors for this year, 2024. Peep them out in the description below. 